Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on uh, coding. Um, I've recently installed a half cage in my 2018 uh, M2 and removed the OEM seats. And with that, um, I started receiving errors when I was starting up the car. You are uh, gonna receive errors related to the driver restraint system and the passenger restraint system. Uh, once you take out the seat and disconnect the seat uh, from the appropriate uh, electrical harness that sits under the seat, uh, the computer is going to recognize that the seat is gone. Um, I have uh, worked with a builder. I'm going to put a link um, in the description of the video below um, called uh, Mitch Piper, Piper Motorsports, located in Northern Virginia that has done the build and installed and install. Um, super happy with the quality of the work. Um, so I'll, I'll put that link below if you could like if you would like to contact him. And um, I was also going to add I have um, asked Mitch to add in the um, the, the three um, the attachment for the three point seat belt um, below because I wanted to be able to to be to drive on the street and continue to drive with the three point um, harness uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the three-point seat belt rather than the harness um, itself um, I've done some research on um, whether the airbags will continue to work uh, even with uh, the aftermarket seats and with the errors showing and I've worked with a, a gentleman that works at a, a reputable dealership that has confirmed that even if you put in race seats uh, and even if you are using the harnesses and the belts not clicked in uh, the car will recognize that uh, you're still driving the car and uh, if there is an accident, the airbags will deploy. So uh, your side airbags and your front airbag uh, will uh, deploy. And because the passenger sensor is also now gone because the seat has been removed, um, the passenger airbags, um, whether it's the front or the side airbags, they will both deploy uh, in case of a collision. So that's a standard behavior that you're going to get out of the box uh, unless you code that out you know if you're going to turn your car into a fully prepped uh, track car then you may want to just remove the airbags um, if you don't feel the need for them uh, potentially sell them in the aftermarket uh, but back to coding so i have um, so i've received the codes and what happens is when you start the car um, you will get Upon the start of the car, when the computer boots up, you're going to get a code that you need to manually um, say OK to, to to proceed to the next menu, or you can actually uh, call the BMW um, service if, in case there is a true failure and obviously you still have the seats and there's just a failure uh, to the system. So um, you can proceed with continuing to do that, but that, that, be, that does become um, annoying after a while because uh, for example, if you go to the track or every time you drive the car, you're going to get an error. You're going to get it once for the um, driver's seat and you're going to get it again for the passenger seat. You can continue to do it manually, but if you want to code it out, um, you are going to have to get into the at the OS level and code out those errors. Now, from my research, there were there's two ways to go. One is um, there are there is software out there that you can um, uh, that you can use uh, you're going to need a laptop you need to hook up um, into the ecu and you can code that out but i felt that was a little bit beyond what i was comfortable with um, i've used beamer code in the past just to change the behavior of the uh, brake tail lights and uh, the the, uh, the mirrors the fold i wanted to make sure the mirrors uh, fold when i turn off the car but this felt i felt like this was a little bit above and beyond what i felt comfortable doing so um, I've done some research, actually, again, worked with uh, Mitch Piper, who recommended a coder here in Northern Virginia. Um, if you are interested in uh, getting in touch with uh, that person, um, you can uh, post a comment below and I will provide his um, information. Um, the coding, uh, he came this morning, the coding took about uh, 30, 35 minutes. Uh, was pretty straightforward. Um, the errors have been coded out. So now when I start the car, uh, I only get the error, the legal disclaimer that you need to acknowledge. Uh, by the way, there's also a way to code that out, of course, but I didn't want to do that. Um, 
and uh, the coating was very straightforward. Uh, also quite affordable, uh, good service, and you know you're working with somebody uh, who does this for a living uh, day in and day out. Um, I'm gonna start the car. We'll show you what the car behaves like uh, now with it being coated out. And um, I'm also gonna do a separate video on the half cage and the seats if you're interested in taking a look. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions, um, post those in the comments and I will get back to you. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. There'll be more uh, content uh, this weekend uh, going back to the track here at Summit Point, Maine. So I will post uh, another couple of videos um, as well. So uh, there'll be some fresh stuff coming out. Let me show you what uh, what this looks like now upon the the start. So start the car. You're gonna have the the menu that you're already used to seeing, and when the computer wakes up, you're gonna get this. Uh, legal disclaimer uh, that you would have been used to seeing before um, Anyway, I hope this was helpful if you uh, if there are any questions uh, that you have uh, happy to answer them uh, post them below. Thanks for watching